<laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I used to do lots of films. I used to make lots of commercials. I guess I made three or four hundred commercials, which nobody knows. Now I paint a lot still. Paint, photography, books. Oh, sculptures. Yeah, I just doing sculptures. Doing a show of sculptures in 2010. Do you photograph with you? Hmm? Do you photograph afterwards? If you make, if you make sculpture, do you photograph afterwards? No. What for? The sculpture is the thing, not the photograph. They're good. We just did the silver one. I'm doing a whole series of tongues, people with tongues. Because it's, uh, I always thought it was funny when the Queen goes to New Zealand and the Maoris. <laughs> and it's completely sexual for them. And she said, oh, aren't they sweet? And it's a funny thing that. And the tongue is such a sexual piece of the body, and it's the thing we all see, and you stick it in someone's mouth, or you stick it up someone's pussy, or wherever you want to stick it. And uh, it's never covered up, is it? The rest of the sexual organs are covered up, but the tongue's probably just as much a sexual organ as the, the dick or the pussy. But I like the idea of making sculptures with people with big tongues. Do you, That's take, all. Do you take lots of sexual images? Do I take lots of what? Sexual photographs. I didn't hear. Sexual photographs. What's a sexual photograph? Well, I know. Do you tend to take a picture with a sexy twist in it? Because, you know, sex sells, obviously. No, you don't. I don't think about what sells. I mean, the things I printed this week are never going to fucking sell. But they're great <laughs> pictures. So that doesn't come into it, really. I mean, I used to take some sex, I suppose, early on with Marie Helvin and Catherine, when she was much younger, you can't take sexy pictures of a girl over 30 years because they start to look silly. I'm sorry, how old are you? <laughs> oh, you've got 10 years left. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not because they're not good enough, it's just because it becomes a bit. It's for young people, really, isn't it? It's sort of silly. Silly. Well, you might be a dirty old man, but. <laughs> Actually, GQ is just off. I did some for GQ about two years ago, and I want to do some more, but I won't unless I think of an idea how to do it. You know, it's got to be more than just a girl in stocking tops leaning against the doorway. I mean, Helmut did the best of those kind of pictures anyway, and nobody ever got close to him. Ever. I mean, he just, just had... And it, I think it's because he was totally asexual with them. I mean, he wasn't a bit interested in them, but the pictures were... Just terrific. Would that be kind of challenge with you? No, no. Don't care what Helmut did. Helmut did what he did, so I do what I do. But I do think what Helmut did in that area was the best anyone's ever done. That's all. Alright, have a question. What, after two, you've run out. Fucking hell. Have you read a book lately? <laughs> Uh, Are you from the Philippines too? <laughs> no, 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 I'm no. from Australia. Um, Australia? Yes. You talk a lot about um, images that are good and bad. Where? Where? Sydney? No, Melbourne. Melbourne? Yeah. Okay. Um, you talk about images that are good and bad. How do you decide what's good and bad? Who gets to decide what's good and bad? Well, my own? No, no, no. You talk about photographers who can create good images, bad images. You can make good photographers into... No, I said you can average everything out. You can't make them better. You can average and make them look all right on Photoshop. But how do you decide who gets to decide what's a good image and what's a bad image? Oh, I think it's a collective consciousness. I mean, everyone in this room would agree that Helmut took great sexy pictures, wouldn't they? So we collectively know that. So that's how, I guess, not some twit at some museum who says it's... What's that stupid word they use? Conceptual. Conceptual is another word for bullshit. You know, you look at poor old Sam Taylor Wood, who I love as a person, but it's a fucking sheep on a hill. It's not conceptual. It's a fucking out of focus sheep on a hill. And if a man, an actor's crying, that's what I just do. You say, listen, I want you to cry. When I say action, fucking cry. And they cry. <laughs> if she was crying, if they were crying over their dog that just got run over or their wife had just got killed in the plane, then it'd be interesting, but not just to say to an actor, cry, what's they got to do? It's not conceptual, it's stupid. 
Sorry, Sam. <laughs> but who decides? I don't know who decides. History decides. If something looks old-fashioned, it was no good to start with. Because it means when it started, it was just a fashion thing. I mean, Michelangelo doesn't look old-fashioned. Turner doesn't look old-fashioned. Uh, I'm afraid lots of photographers look old-fashioned now. Because they were probably no good to start with. Because if you become old-fashioned, it means you're no good. Because if it's good, it never goes out of fashion. It's not fashion. The difference between style and fashion. Style is much more important. You, you, say, you say style is important, but you have no style. I know. Clever, isn't I? <laughs> like God. God has no style. If he exists. Look at your jumper. Is God wear that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Can I get down now? Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Mark. Thank you. Thank you.